Hey everybody, it's Jerome Jr. And I wanted to share some tips on how to speed up your Amazon Fire TV stick and um, how to solve the issue of it slowing down or running a bit slower since you installed Kodi. So I'm going to show you guys how to go to system information, how to read that area and what to look for. I'm also going to show you guys how to properly shut down Kodi because you might have had it running in the background a long time and don't realize it. That can slow it down because that could take up a lot of memory. And I'm also going to show you guys how to clear your catch, which is the most useful um, and will show the most results. So let me jump right into this video, guys, and waste no time. All right, everybody. The first thing I'm going to show you guys is how to go ahead and clear your catch. So what you want to do is when you're on your home screen, you want to click right, go all the way down until you hit settings. Once you hit settings, you want to click down on the D-pad. Once you're down on the D-pad, you want to go right until you get to applications. Click applications and go down to manage install applications. It's going to be kind of like how I showed you guys on my last video how to open the uh, Kodi. But instead of opening Kodi, we're going to click a different option. So, already off the bat, I want to point out, you see off to the right corner. See how it's telling you the version number, which obviously is 17, which is the newest Kodi, which is the Kodi we installed. It tells you the size of it and the storage. And then you see I say catch. Well, right there, catch. Right now it shows me I have 85.78 megabytes. I catch take up space. So every now and then you're going to want to go through here and, you know, clean it. So what I did is I clicked the Kodi. And instead of hitting launch, like I always show you, scroll down to clear catch so we're going to clear catch click that and it just cleared it you see how my catch changed from saying at 85 megabytes and now say 12 kilobytes off to the corner alright guys the second thing I'm going to show you is once you inside the Kodi application I'm going to show you how to check your system information this will let you know how your system air quote your fire stick is doing so what you want to do is Hover on that gear at the top. It looks like a gear. Well, what that is is settings. So you're going to want to hit it, click it, and click system information. So, what system information show you, it shows you like a summary of your system CPU usage and your system memory usage and all that down there at the bottom as you see mines. So, before I did that clear catch, which I showed you guys a little, like a couple minutes ago, my system memory usage was a little bit higher than that. I was saying it was like 64, 65 used. Uh, so right now it's at 59. So it's doing better, and you see the CPU is barely being used. So that is a good standing. So if you see like the system memory um, high like in the 60s, the higher 60s, or past 60 in the 70s, for sure go clean your catch. So this can let you know how your um, fire stick is doing. It's from right here, system information. So now you know how to do that. So now the last thing I wanted to show you guys is how to properly close down Kodi. So when you're done using Kodi, you're done watching movies for today, go ahead and properly close it down because it will help speed up um, Exodus or you the next time you use it Exodus and all the different add-ons because it will be starting fresh so the way you would do that is you will go up and you want to hover over this power button looking thing it's straight forward straight forward um, you just click it and it's gonna be like pop up saying power option exit you're gonna hit your center button again and it's just gonna exit it out and now you're back right here. So that's how you properly close out Cody. If you are new to the channel, go ahead and check it out. If you don't know who I am, I do new videos every week. Uh, tech reviews, fire stick stuff, how to jailbreak and things, many cool things you might like. So go ahead and let me know if you like this content and hit the thumbs up, guys. And go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already. So, Jerome Jr. out, guys.